How you going, Gemini? We're going to do you a quick daily read and uh, see what comes out, see what the spiritual message is for today. You'll see that I do everything on camera and you'll also see um, that I use multiple decks. Um, you'll also see that um, I've asked Spirit uh, to make it known if there's anything thoroughly that I like um, in itself that's got to come out through the readings. You'll hear them in the background, sounds, noises, things like that. So pay attention to things like that that come around me when I'm into the future. Oof, somebody from the past that you ended things out from from a circus is in regret. Woo, big crap, big time regret. All right, we'll be using reversals as well to see so we can get make sure the uh, the uh, spiritual message comes out thoroughly. But it does show that in itself. So whoever is in your past here from this past the issues here, um, uh, they're going to be in regret big time. You can see it there because that's the future side here. Okay, and that's the past side there. So you can see whatever it was that you completed out here. It's time to celebrate. Thank you, spirit. It's time to celebrate here. Whatever it was, was a circus, okay? It's the best way to say that, okay? You completed that out. With nine of wands there and the underlining energies, you had to have spell healthy boundaries coming into the future. All right, this is the reading that I've got for you. It's all here, all right? The only thing I've got to do, sorry, I've got to take um, three cards from this random deck here. And so we'll take two and then we'll take one random card from the middle. Chuck it over there like that. All right, this will help me here for this. Um, this will be the cards used for the past and the past and the future. Uh, these are the readings that we've got here right now. And then I'll clarify at the end with one uh, fresh, full, complete deck to make sure that every message comes out thoroughly for you as we go on. Now, just from these cards alone, you'll know um, with the things that I say as to whether this is your, um, yeah, man, I'm telling you then right now, whatever is in this past for you is we're in regret, Gemini. I'm telling you the truth. Look at this. Yeah, they stabbed you completely and utterly in the back because there's a 10 of swords underneath it. Yeah, they oh, they are in regret big time, okay? Because I've got four, 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 four from the Holy Trinity. Maybe a number to you in some sort of way. Okay, but it shows whatever happened in the past because the person you were dealing with from the past is um, very manipulative. It's uh, very cold communication, uh, very aloof, very manipulative, very conceited. Somebody who who showed off their intelligence, but not in a smart way, just thought they were very smart. That's the best way to say that. They were obviously not that smart if they're regretting now, but it does show that they had a tendency to over control, okay? And that's the best way. You were beautiful. You showed your morals and your integrity, and I can see that there, and, you, and it brought you towards knowing your worth, okay, as you manifest into the future, and that's magnificent as you manifest into the future. Whatever's from the past, it's even in reverse there. It shows thoroughly that you were dealing with somebody with cold communication, somebody who had to use your words wisely around, somebody who had, there was a mean or emotional indifferences within that, whatever that situation was there before we start pulling the cards on it, but it does show they are thoroughly in regret for what they've done. They shouldn't have been manifesting those things into your life, but the best part about it is it allowed you to learn who you were. Yeah, you trusted the divine guidance so you don't have to juggle things. You may not see it at the present moment, but uh, these are things we can't see. It's the unforeseen, okay? It's the unconscious. But you can see your conscious is beautiful, okay? With, especially with this high priestess here. It shows trust your intuition, uh, trust the divine guidance that you receive, okay? Especially as you're manifesting into the universe on this side here. But whatever happened in the past here, it showed you there was no stability there, but it does show that she, because she's holding on to her worth there, that you are able to manifest now knowing your worth, okay? This is the conscious up here. Ooh, the whole Trinity. The Holy Trinity says there was no growth here, but going into the future, there's going to be growth. And it does show that there with the uh, divine source there in that uh, message there in itself. But it does show because that's the conscious, that's the connection to the spirit, but it's also your thoughts in theory. It shows that you give thanks for what you're about to harvest leading into the future, knowing that your life is headed in a beautiful direction as you manifest into your universe. Uh, definitely three, four, 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 maybe a number to you uh, in some sort of way. But um, it shows that. Um, there was frustration there in the past. Like that's the best way to say it. There was no growth. That's the best way to say it. There's no growth. You had to have boundaries into that relationship. That's why it ended because of the death card there, but it gives you a transformation into who you are as a soul, which is absolutely magnificent. What you're dealing with in the past, there may be friends, families, lovers, but they're with the five of wands upright. See, they're, they're all, re they're, reversals and things like that it shows five of ones upright shows it was fighting conflict competition things that you didn't need in your life and it was from friends family or lovers okay because i've definitely got three to the three here maybe a number two three three maybe a number two look out for the signs and synchronicities but it does show whatever family friends whatever that was in the past was because there's a friends and family from the past that's been completed out because there's a finish line and it's time to celebrate going into the future with the four here shows as they looking back now into their past of the things that they've done they are in thorough regret we've had to clarify that here but definitely the five of wands upright says this com competition conflict ambition 
somebody being pushed by others, uh, mental jousting, which means they'll play it on your mind, but that's finished now because the juggling's finished now, juggling on that mind. And it also shows that there was no growth there. It does show there was a lot of fighting, arguments, conflict, somebody being very over competitive, which was why it comes into this card being in reverse as to show that the person was pretending to be smart, but they're obviously not that smart, that's for sure. They had a tendency, I suppose, to avoid conflict in some sort of way, in some sort of way, which was, it's like, Whatever they did here in the past led you towards your worth, okay? And to know that spirit knows your morals and your integrity is beautiful, okay? Because she's right there. I'm talking to somebody very, 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 very beautiful in themselves. Very, very, very energetic, I suppose the best way to say that. Somebody, it's like somebody was blocking your, uh, yeah, with deception. We've got two faces. First card, straight over the family, friends, and lovers here from the past. Deception, big time deception of the Seven of Swords there. And it comes straight over that card there in itself. Yeah, divine judgment's been laid, which comes out. The spirit knows your motives and heart to be true as a divine blessing. Okay, it's also as you step onto your future, it does show as we step onto the future, you are manifesting good times coming in and that's definitely Ace of Clarity there um, in itself. The whole thing is centered around your healing, okay, from the past, okay, and going on your pursuit of excellence from the things of the past, but it does show you were dealing with somebody very, very, very cold, very, very deceitful. Um, this may unfocus and scattered energy. They were very impatient. They acted too quickly. They needed the they needed the logical solutions that when were given to them, but they didn't take the signs and synchronicities because it does show that there with these two cards combined together, and this card being the center. I've still got two more cards to pull and one more here, but it does explain why they're in regret. Okay, they were emotionally unavailable, yeah, the hard edged, very impatient, and it's like they were stalling because that's what I was picking up before. Yeah, it's come back to the same card here. They were stalling, friends and family. Okay, with options. Um, treated you like an option, okay, but it led you to your worth in itself, okay, um, it led you to becoming that diplomacy of love, okay, there's divine inspiration there for somebody, but it does show um, in itself that as we lead into the future for these future cards here in itself, it does show that what's happened to them is fated, okay, because there was no, you've learnt the lessons leading into the future, but they, they're in regret at the present moment. They may be even sitting there pondering a thought as to what went wrong. Uh, it's the best way to say that. Um, because The reason is, it's like, it's like they can't, they're in regret, that's for sure. But it's like they can't understand why there was, yeah. They can't understand why things didn't grow. That's the best way to say that. They didn't understand in theory because you were the light there. You were the light. You were the sunshine there. And so once you went away, the light went away. Does it make sense into themselves? But Whatever that was in the past there, it brought you towards 444 four, four again, okay, with 444. Four, four. Look at all the fours here. There's got to be something to somebody. Fourth of the month, fourth month, fourth years, four something has to be um, to you. But they, whatever options they made you feel like, of course, it's family and friends or lovers in some sort of way um, or some sort of family and something, okay? There was love there in some sort of way because you were the love though, if that makes sense, because you were the divine love, if that makes sense, because you were that boss energy of love. When you went away, the love went with you. Into the future, you were so strong, man. You are you. The karma is on your side. See, the karma is on your side. The wheel here is karma in itself. Okay, justice is its receipt, but the karma is on your side here. Okay, because there was no growth there, man. There was just there was. I'm going to say it again. They might have been spreading a lot of rumors. They might have slandered you, uh, broken promises, um, trying to solve emotional, spiritual issues with intellect or reason when they didn't have any, if that makes sense, because it so, so thoroughly shows it there. But they were projecting their feelings outwards and they were projecting their thoughts and feelings onto you, which is why Spirit's giving the strength card there in itself. But it does show they were all talk and no action. Now we've got the fate and the justice card there. So there's this karma wheel, which is on your side. Good karma. And there's the justice to make sure that Spirit knows that it's on your side. Okay, so it's it's healing at the present moment. 811 may be a number to you, but it does show that you... You were being tested, okay? You were being tested. That's the shit, that's for sure. And that's a messenger in itself, a message in itself. But yeah, this just comes straight out there. That's the card I'm literally reading right now. Um, yeah, yeah, thirst for information, but you were being tested. It's also the card that's there in reverse. So in the reverse from the past, because that's the past, it shows that um, there was no growth there. They were not learning their lessons, okay? They were projecting your feelings out, their feelings onto you. And that with they were just broken promises. It literally says that broken promises, lies, and slander. But you... On the other hand of that justice, where uh, you're on an intellectual pursuit, okay, um, your honors, you pass with honors. I don't know, Spirit just said that thoroughly, you pass with honors. <laughs> I don't know, you're being tested, Spirit just said you're being tested, okay, and you pass with honors, okay, so it's time to heal from that past, okay, because um, it was very restless. Look, spirit knows your heart and motives to be true, okay, so it's time for serendipity, 
um, into your future, if that makes sense. There was a lot of illusions there. And Spirit says you're being very strong from the past, okay? But we're leading into the future now with divine love, divine, you being that divine love, okay? And that beautiful, beautiful super love, okay? But you were dealing with manipulation. You were dealing with some sort of manipulation. But Spirit says thoroughly in the background that um, it's it's over. And we can see that there with the Ten of Cups that just come out. Spirit says that thoroughly in the background that it's over, okay? They were breaking your heart. They were manipulating you in some sort of way. They were manipulating your heart. And that's not fair, but it is a learning curve. But their deception is disgusting. And Temperance Angel's there to balance out the scales. And we take one random card from right in the middle. Yeah, they had you trapped in your mind. That's what the Temperance Angel's there in itself. Okay, but you get the success coming into the future. It's going to shock you and it's going to shock the, shock them the, the amount of uh, success that's about to come in. Okay, because that was triumphancy. It's like Spirit saying you were triumphant there in itself. Okay, you manifested and you are manifesting right now because there's double emphasis on that. But it does show leading into the future that you were thinking logically in order. There was no growth there. That's the best way to say it. You know there was no growth there in itself. Okay, the, with um the heart, this is the heart here in itself. Okay, so the heart saying that um in itself uh, you... A learning curve. It's like a learning because the hermit learns, okay? And you can see the learning there in itself, okay? No learning from the past and while you're in that, but you you leave that and it gives allows you to manifest into your world because centered around this whole reading is you being the divine love and that beautiful divine gift that the, the Spirit's got for you, if that makes sense, because you're on a pursuit of love or you're on a pursuit of loving yourself or something like that. In your heart, the, the hermit is in your heart. Now, the hermit is a good card to be in your heart, okay? The reason... I say that it's in a good a good card to have in your heart is because of the fact that it learns from its you're learning from your mistakes and that's beautiful as you walk through your universe. Okay, and that's why karma's on, on your side. But it shows in your heart, straight out of the book, of the inner reflection that you've taken to meditate, contemplate, because there's meditation from the things that you passed. But meditate, contemplate, go on that soul searching, have that inner wisdom and that spiritual mentor and guide, you know, finding your guide within and taking that time away from the chaos of busy life by hermiting. You see, you might be protecting your heart at the present moment from the world because it's got the world next to it, but the world's in reverse. So the world is completion in itself when it's in the upright. When it's in the downright, it shows you that... You can't take air. Yeah, this is the best way to say that. Thank you, Spirit. You can't take any shortcuts to heal your heart, okay? You're thinking logically, and that's beautiful, okay? But what happened here in the past, there was no growth from, and Spirit put double emphasis on that in the background. There was no growth, okay? So there was there was delays in those plans. There was unmet, unmet plans, okay, in that, because it's still playing on your heart a little bit, all right? We've got to be honest about it. Um, it's still playing on your heart a little bit, but you can trust the divine God. It's divinely guided you out of that. That person is in regret. I'm thoroughly in regret, big time regret because of their ego, their ego. But you took the action in the right way to, to close that out. But when it comes to the heart healing in itself, whatever was trapping you that broke your heart over here was a manipulation that's horrible to you. And that's the truth. Okay. So with that card next to that, it shows that there may be shadows that need to be released in order to free the heart up. So when the, all the chakras line up and you get that beautiful world that's about to come into you, it shows that, um, you don't look backwards, yeah, because you look forwards, okay, because you can see the light here is in the back, which means going into the past and shadows on those lights and enlightening those things about the things, but you can see he's looking forward, see so he's looking forward, so it's a time to look forward to the world, if that makes sense. Uh, you may be shutting yourself off from the world, and that's that's fair, okay, but um, it does show that there's um, it's a chance to stay focused, okay. There was the, pla the delays in the plans, okay, from unmet, unmet dreams, it's... Uh, they're broken promises. It's the best way to say that. Thank you, Spirit. They're broken promises, okay? And and that's why you're, you're coming towards stability into the future, okay? You're coming towards real stability into the future in some sort of way, but it does show that karma is on your side with that justice there. So you'll see real justice here because they've got judgment on their side, divine judgment in itself. So it shows judgment is um coming, okay? There's clarity, okay, around the world. That's the world. That's the way people see you at the present moment. So you can see that you've made the right choice on whatever it is that you've went through in some sort of way because the two of swords upright is choices to be made and in downright it shows the choices being made now if that makes sense in your world and that's clarity and, and believe it or not it's a victory because the ace of swords is there which is clarity and it's also a victory but it does show that ace to the two in the world there shows you're going through the trials and tribulations in the right way on that right procession to get things out in itself because whatever they were they were stabbing you completely in the back and it had to do with a family friends or something because i do have a soulmate connection underneath that if that makes sense and it does show that it was completed out because of the illusions now we can see the illusions here you were very very strong through those illusions okay and you worked very very look at all the illusions the moon's there look at them all lots of illusions lots and lots of illusions they ostracize you they put you down 
They left you out in the cold. They put obstacles in your life because it shows it here in the heart over here. So it shows that crisis and devastating loss in itself in that heart of going into who you are as a soul and knowing that you've made the right choice is, is fantastic there because it was, this is what it says in the book, a very difficult choice. You were stuck between a rock and a hard place. Okay, whatever that was had a fear of commitment and that's literally out of the book, a fear of commitment. And you've had to step off into your world and this is clarity what I'm about to say, step off into your world into the, with a fear of unknown, okay? And that's that's because we've got the, the uh, see this card here, it steps us to the world, if that makes sense. And that's the fool who's about to step into their new world and taking a leap of faith. That's the best way to say it. it took a leap of faith and, and Spirit said you made the right choice, if that makes sense. That'll make sense. Definitely Spirit says that'll make sense to somebody out there. Okay, win your hopes and fears, okay? You've got to release burdens, okay? Which is why we've got the shadows in the heart. You've come from a mountain. See the mountain? But the three wands there, even though it's the ten of wands, the three wands in the background simulates the fact that you've stepped in the right direction with the right plan. Because two is still st staying there stagnant, okay? And being b between the rock and the hard place in that heart. And the three of the wands shows that you've stepped off in the right direction. It's now time to release the baggage, okay? There was no growth there. There was no stability. It's the best way to say The ace of coins is like a little coin and it's got like roots on it and it needs to be put into the ground for stability and it shows that there you had there was no stability there okay that's the best way to say that because of double emphasis on friends and family with deception and uh divine judgment and then clarity because it brings it across to the world that you made the right choice okay so at the at the present moment it's time to release those uh, release those fears as a final push before we step into this future here to make sure that you're manifesting the right things into your universe we're gonna have a look at the completion of the reading in itself but yeah you've you've made the right choice whatever that was is fucking horrible man that's com conflict real conflict okay real deception real conflict fighting hollow victories you were dealing with somebody with an ego and and that you would never have won because the fact is is they they didn't want you giving out to the universe. They didn't want these good things for you. I'm telling you the truth. And that's why it's in the heart at the present moment. It's because they didn't want that. There was no heart there for you. See, you give and receive to the universe. So that's why you get the affinity on your journey, if that makes sense, into the last cards here. But whatever that was in the past was conflict. It was hollow victories, which means there was no need for the fighting. Okay, there was a lot of sadness, but you've worked very, very hard to release those illusions, which is right here in the same card very very hard to release those illusions okay it was very very sad okay but you are the light and you have inner beauty okay that's the best way to say that inner beauty okay it's the best way to say that this person from the past is in regret i'm telling you the truth they are in regret they stab you in the back um and they are in regret big time for it look you had to fight so much in that relationship okay now there's the three of wands in that that i was talking about here and it shows that see that even though it's a ten of wands, but there's three wands there lit up. There's the three of wands stepping off in that right direction because you were fighting too much. Okay, you are a divine blessing because it shows it right there into your future, which is what you've got coming in. And it was fated because that's right above it too as well. So it does show that there. What we're going to do now is just clarify everything to make sure it's there. You're a divine blessing. I'm telling you the truth. You have divine new new beginning or a new beginning coming in love in some sort of way that's fated to come in but it does show that thoroughly, okay? So what we do now is we put a card on here, each of these spots to make sure that I've come with the right connection for you. So it's like an extra way to clarify that it's somebody's message and it's an extra way to make sure. Yeah, beautiful. You have love, some sort of love coming, okay? It's the best card. It's right here. It's the same card. You've got some sort of love coming into the future. You are manifesting it and it's a time for serendipity. See them off in the cup of love there. So it shows it there thoroughly. What you're dealing with in the past was horrible, okay? So we've got to release that, okay? Because... There's a ten of pentacles coming in, okay, and that was just hollow victories, okay. It's the best way to say that. I uh, just, I've got to put one card, one card, one card. So this will put in the unforeseen because you were divinely guided away from that. So you don't need to juggle the thoughts about these things from the past, okay? They're juggling thoughts. They're juggling thoughts big time. They're wondering why. They're wondering why. <laughs> it's like they're wondering why. If that makes sense. But yeah. Good news coming in, okay? Good good news. That's good news. That's good news and communication coming in in some sort of way. And then flip it again, you shimmy shuffle the cards. You've got a legacy coming, okay? Well, it's a divine legacy. It might be inheritance, it might be money, uh, might be creating a new family where you build that together. Uh, but there is a new beginning of love and it's going to lead towards a legacy in some sort of way. The things from the past, that's that card there, the things from the past were just not good, okay? You can understand because it's right here in itself that you were divinely guided away. You may not see at the present moment you were, you were divinely guided away and they are in regret. It's the same card here. They're in regret. And like I said, it's, it's like they, they're, they're not understanding why it happened, if it makes sense. And it's the family. See the three of cups here, three cups, three cups. It's family, friends, and things that you had to complete out, okay? And it shows whatever views they were, were, were worldly. They, they had no respect for you. It's the best way to say that. We're going to have a look into the crowning thoughts here because you are co-creating with the divine. 
in itself, but it does show, um, yeah, you had to end it out, okay? You've got success coming in in some sort of way. The world in that type of energy, it shows that um, because the fool here steps off, okay? And it goes to the world, if that makes sense, for a new journey, if that makes sense. And so with the world in that type of energy there, and I'll read it straight out of the book to make sure you get the exact right message, it says completions, achievement. There was no growth there. Uh, finishing that large project off, which means finishing off the um, thoughts here so we can heal and grow into the future. But it does show transcendence of new levels of consciousness that it can literally mean you're traveling the world, okay? And it does show that there. But the best part about what it says here in the book is I ascend to new levels of awareness because I am love. Okay, the next stop from here is the fool. And you can see the fool is about to set, step into the future itself. Okay, we've got to grab a card for the future. But it does show you've completed that out up here. So it's a time to celebrate. You can see that here, the circus in the background, four of wands and the four of wands. It shows you've stepped off from the three of wands in the right direction to get to the four of wands to complete it out. And you can see they're celebrating there. You can see them all partying in that four of wands. So it's a time to celebrate going into the future, okay? Because you've released whatever that crap was in itself. This is for the heart. It says the victory is in your heart, okay? Because you see the world up here. There's the wreath of the world. So it shows it was a victory to end that out. So you may be thinking back totally over, over and over and over again, because in the head, the reason I say that, okay, because we're juggling a lot of thoughts, all right? And spirit's trying to get you to stop juggling your thoughts. It's unforeseen at the present moment. The reason I say that is because I've got the world upright in the head and I've got the world wrong in the, in the, it's, it's, it's in the downright in the heart. So it's like, you've got to connect the head with the heart. So you've got to bring your heart, not so much bring your heart into it, but complete the stuff off that's playing in the mind from the past, see completion, and that'll bring you success. So that world then will turn upright, if that makes sense and bring your world right into the way. And that's clarity because in the world area of the reading, um, it's clarity there for you. It's your victory because that goes in the world, okay? Now, I've got a victory here in the Ace of Swords, which is victory because it's a victory of clarity and it's a victory of a brand new beginning in your world. But the chariot's here, okay? Now, that chariot shows victory and it's triumphancy coming in into the future in itself, okay? So now we're going to have a look at the hopes and fears and just make sure that everything's coming out thoroughly because in the hopes and fears, it says there was no growth, but you have something divine coming into your future, but we have to release the burdens first. You have a divine love coming into the future. It's, it's right there for you. It's the truth. It's right here. It's also the card that's centered in the front of the future here to show that you have divine future coming in and something that you'll love, okay? Yeah, you've stuck true to your morals and integrity. It's right there. It's stuck true to your morals and integrity coming into the future. You have some sort of divine connection coming into the future of the outcome because you were so strong, okay? Because there's the same cards coming out in between here, okay? And Spirit's saying with these two cards here, the Ten of Cups to the strength, the strength of the Ten of Cups, it's in the future. See the future, the outcome in itself from a fresh new deck, okay? It shows that the illusions here from the past that you may not have been seeing, okay, that you had to trust your good vitals. There was so much illusions there. It's not funny, but you are manifesting into the future, okay? And you're yeah, manifesting itself. Magician, 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 you're manifesting into your future. You can release these um, things, okay? Now, I want to show you something. The hermit's in your heart. Now, you see the illusions? This is why I say you're juggling a few thoughts, okay? It's because, see, that's the face of the, the uh, that's the face of the hermit. And it shows that you're going in to address shadows, yes? but it shows there's illusions there. You have a wish coming, okay? Your divine love is there. See the Ace of Cups there, this one here? There's the cup there in that energy. And it also shows that you have a wish coming into the future, but we've got to release the shadows, release any fear at the present moment and release the burdens of to lead into that hope of the future for, to get these things as we go in. It's coming regardless because it's right there. The victory is, is just to make sure that we release the illusions, okay? Because Spirit's trying to guide you towards exactly what it is. Yeah, your inner peace and milestones met that you're manifesting at the present moment. That's the reading that I have for you for today at the present moment. But the underlining energies, i just come straight back out again. The underlining energies of the whole reading, yeah, you've got hope and it's come from your beautiful heart, okay? You made that wish, believe it or not, you made the wish from all the tears here in itself because the, the wish comes from your broken heart and that's how we manifest. Spirit can see everything. Spirit doesn't want you to cry at all. But the underlining energies of the whole reading says to just put boundaries in place for anything coming into the future so you can take the time to know who they are because the same card here with hope going into the future, we need to release the burdens of the, the manipulation and stuff that you went through, okay? And that'll give you the growth that you need. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care and God bless.